Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are letting their guards down, as the pair made a surprise appearance at a Vancouver hockey game on Monday November 20. The couple was all smiles while rooting for the Canucks, and the Duke of Sussex was the team's guest of honor. Meghan was seen wearing a chic blue salt crew top, and Harry donned a dark colored sweater. The Duchess of Sussex cheered for her spouse, as he participated in the ceremonial puck drop as the Canucks played against the San Jose Sharks. Harry's role in the game occurred 21 years after his paternal grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, took part in the custom in 2002. The Sussexes' joint outing happened after a source claimed the Duke of Sussex was offended by an editor's attack on his marriage. OK previously reported the source said Harry was sickened after Graydon Carter claimed the prince's marriage would last years not decades. Due to Carter's work at Vanity Fair, the source shared that he's hugely respected within society circles, so his opinion is likely vital to others. When Graydon Carter weighs in on a topic like this, important people in the highest places listen, they admitted. It's going to have a domino effect as far as the perceived narrative about their marriage and its long-term prospects goes. The confidant shared that Harry feared people would think Carter had inside knowledge about any tension in their relationship. Aside from the split rumors surrounding the Sussexes, Canada has always been a significant place for them. Before Meghan married Harry, the suit star lived in Toronto where the program was filmed, and when the pair fled the UK, they initially hoped to be based in the North American country. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment, the Sussexes shared in a 2020 statement. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. Although the Sussexes are currently based in California, they initially wanted to prioritize working in the British territories. We look forward to sharing the full details of this exciting next step in due course, as we continue to collaborate with Her Majesty the Queen, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge, and all relevant parties, the official letter read. Until then, please accept our deepest thanks for your continued support.